As the Foreign Secretary told the House of Commons at second reading of the bill, and I quote, this is a simple but vital piece of legislation. It has one clear purpose, to deliver on our promise to give the British people the final say on our EU membership in an in-out referendum by the end of 2017. My Lords, I don't propose to ask you to turn to that, but if you wish to find it, it's at volume 18 of the bundles, tab 203. A majority of those who voted in the referendum wanted the UK to leave the European Union. And Article 50 provides the specific legal mechanism to begin doing so. Now, my lords, the Divisional Court treated all of that as legally irrelevant and concluded that the process could not lawfully be begun by the government using prerogative powers, but only by further legislation in Parliament. We say, respectfully, that the Divisional Court was wrong about that. We say <coughs> the use of the prerogative in these circumstances would not only be lawful, but fully supported by our constitutional settlement, in line with parliamentary sovereignty, and in accordance with legitimate public expectations. So in opening this appeal, I make three submissions by way of introduction to our case from this fundamental constitutional perspective. My then friend Mr. Eady will then develop our case and the Advocate General for Scotland will deal with the devolution and other issues raised in relation to the Scottish, Northern Irish and Welsh jurisdictions. And my three submissions are these. First, that the foreign affairs prerogative is not an ancient relic, but a contemporary necessity. Including the powers to make and withdraw from treaties, it is a fundamental pillar of our constitution as a sovereign state, and it is essential to the effective conduct of public business. Second, that the prerogative operates as part of a dualist system, including in the EU context. And third, that the prerogative operates wholly in accordance with parliamentary sovereignty. Parliament has a clear understanding of the constitutional function and usefulness of these powers, and where it chooses to limit them, it does so carefully and specifically. <laughs> 